These treats and some great Valentine's gifts for you out there. Uh, we're going to be cooking uh, throughout this hour, and we'd love to take your testimonials. This company, Dash, is one of our favorite companies here at HSN and, and anywhere actually out there. They have such a great mission statement, a, a great way that they de design products. Uh, they they love uh, you know people to enjoy their food, and the way they design it is amazing. This is our instant steamer. Let me tell you the deal on this, and I know everybody's looking for steamers in the new year. Obviously, we know it's a very healthy way to cook. You don't have to have any fats or oil. Oils. But this is this steamer has been on one time. It was back in March of last year. One airing with Bill Green, and it sold out uh, with good reason. I, I've never seen a steamer that has this kind of capacity, the ability to cook what you want, as much as you want, entire meals, if you will. It's not just, you know, okay, I'm gonna steam my broccoli, <clears throat> I'm gonna steam my carrots. It's not just that. You can do, it's like having your own dim sum tray in here. You can do levels of dumplings, you can do rice, you can reheat leftovers, you can do meats, veggies. It has the power because of the big water tank to be able to fully cook and poach things like chicken and fish and stuff like that. My very good friend, Kelly Diedring, here and you know I love Kelly because she and I love to cook together. We love to have a good time. We Happy Valentine's eat. Day. Happy Valentine's. We are totally twins right We're here. We're twinsy. Um, but I love this. I love this machine first of all because it's it's made by Dash and, yes. it's, and it works. Their it's motto a really is, good steamer. Yeah. Yes. Their motto is unprocess your food. They want to give you the tools to make healthy eating easy. This machine and I've seen a lot of steamers is the coolest steamer I've ever seen. Talk about capacity. First of all, we have our butter warming on the top, so that's a fun little tip right there because it'll keep it warm. Yep. All right. There's our butter. But then in, on the inside, I got the best, I mean, the way to anybody's heart is king crab legs, that's my a, friend. That's a heck of a Valentine's meal. I have meal. never seen a steamer. It comes with three levels, but you can remove the trays, you guys. So look what you can actually do. There's our king crab. We have our snow crab on the inside. But I told Guy, I've never seen a steamer where you could actually remove the shelf so that you can do your Look giant king crab legs, your snow crab legs. The capacity, once you remove those shelves, becomes infinite. If, in most steamers, you might be able to fit a couple of snow crab legs on the top. Uh, go in for it, because I knew that was my Valentine to my friend Guy there. Look, you guys, when wow. you steam your crab legs, you get the most beautiful, easy to peel chunks of meat. And if you are lucky enough to do the king crab, look at how gorgeous that is, you guys. Oh my goodness. Talk about the way to somebody's heart. <laughs> and we haven't added anything, any oils, any fat, any extra. Well, we're gonna add a little butter because what's a king crab? going in. What's a king crab like without butter? Happy Valentine's Day. Is oh it God. not amazing? It's the best way to do your crab legs and you would never get the capacity in a steamer. What's so great about <laughs> Dash awesome. too is that mm. this water tank is larger than any other water tank I've ever seen on a steamer. Plus, it's removable. So you can take this right over to the tap, use any tap water, and then pop it back pop on it the right inside. In. So go ahead and remove the shelves if you're doing king crab legs or anything tall with a lot of capacity. Now, when you wanna go ahead and steam multiple items, you have three three different shelves to do. So what we've done here is our full meal. By the way, if you think in terms of eating healthy, steaming is in the top three. Yeah. It's eating raw, it's pressure cooking, and it's steaming. So I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't like to eat my veggies raw. No. And a lot of people get this sort of myth about steaming that it doesn't have a lot of flavor. You're not doing steaming right. right. Because you can actually infuse beautiful spices like the saffron yeah. or some garlic. Put a couple or of some... threads on there. That's all Absolutely. you need to do. Absolutely. Now yep. look at these trays. They all removed by the way they're labeled one two and three your delicate veggies you want to do on top and then you start going down oh, from there salmon black and salmon oh my gosh is that look, not look beautiful it. so we've got layer one we've got our veggies okay here's what i'll tell you I'm not on for a year first time back it's only 16.65 on uh, on your credit card on flex pay grab it while you can you know i've always said that steaming is a you know that the the, the oriental uh community for yes. years and years and years has known about steaming yes. whether it's well, the japanese the chinese whatever yep. they all love to steam because they understand it's it, first of all it's it's an easy way to cook a lot at the same time a ton. 
Uh, you don't have to worry about buying anything else other like oils or any of that stuff because it's just water, water that turns into steam. And you get food that's not tainted with any extra oil. If you want fat, like salmon has fat in this. it, yes. right? You don't need to you add the extra add oil. The extra. You don't need to right. add the extra fat. Look it up. There are three of the healthiest ways to eat. It's eating raw, it's pressure cooking because you keep all the nutrients, and it's steaming. And steaming is like number two after eating raw. So if you decide not to eat your mm. salmon, your potatoes, and your asparagus raw, the next healthiest way to do it is by cooking it with hot water, which is right. a steamer. You get those three levels. You can see you can use two, you can use one, or you can remove all the shelves. And to get the capacity, you're going to want to remove the shelves. But if you just want to warm your buns, I mean, this is also a great way to do, you know, it's indoor. Winter time. It's, it's a winter good time, time to be doing that. Open so those buns for warm me. Warm them up. Look at this. Now, check it out. So, so here's, the, here's the point we're making. It doesn't necessarily have to be a healthy thing for you. If exactly. you want to do hot dogs. It's just the healthiest way to cook. Right. If yep. you want to do hot dogs, it's one of the best ways to cook a hot dog, first of all. Like, if steamed. anybody that's had a hot dog. When you get it. If yep. you have a hot dog at the ballpark, it's steamed. It's yep. not it's, it's not a fried or grilled hot dog. Well, that's it's usually absolutely steamed. right. Will you open those buns for yes, me, my honey. friend? Because yeah. look at this. All right, so this is probably two dozen hot dogs, you guys. So we don't even have enough buns. But if you want to warm your buns in the very top layer, that's what I was saying. So that top layer, you want to do the most delicate. So we were warming our buns. Thank you, my friend. And we're going to have a you bunch the idea. of extra hot dogs. But that's the best way to do it because, by the way, we all know our hot dogs already come to us cooked. And so you don't have to throw them on the grill if you want to. You know, you'd be my guest. But steaming is the healthiest way to do it because you're not adding anything. You're also right. not putting it over direct heat. Exactly. So when you put food over direct heat, you lose nutritional content. We all know that. It's no secret. But the ability to be able to do this beautiful all-American meal with our look, corn on the bottom because we needed to that go. to get most of the yep. steam, most of the effort there, and look at the results that you're able to so get. So you've done like your little barbecue indoors. You never had to step one foot outside in the snow to this. be able to do that, and you have look great flavor that. as well. Let me show you what you're going to get when you order this uh, thing because Kelly has a lot to show you, and I know she's going to want to get to it. So let me show you your options. So we have it in red. You have it in Valentine's Day red. If you want to get it in red, you can grab it in the, in, in the red color. Uh, it also comes in black. When you order it, Dash is also going to give you this little Dash cookbook, which gives you some great ideas on things that you can steam inside. There's lots of great recipes inside here. It tells you how to look. You can even do desserts. There's a flan right there. Um, you can do deviled eggs, stuff like that. Um, you can cook your eggs in here. Yep. You can pretty much you can do, do... You could probably do three dozen eggs. You, you can do... Hey, listen to this. You can do an omelet in here. Oh, yeah. Easily. You, you mix you can... up your omelet, put it in whatever tray or bowl that you want, and you mm -hmm. put it in here, and the steam will cook it perfectly. You can add cheese to it, all that stuff. And you've never had to add one extra drop of fat other than what you put in there, the cheese or, or the ham or the bacon or whatever. Um, but which I guess kind of defeats the purpose. But if you're doing an egg white omelet, you can, my friends. you've got a healthy omelet inside there with just veggies and egg whites and minimal traces of fat. And that's what it's all about. If you want to eat healthy, you really need to start thinking about what you put into your food when you cook it because it's amazing and i'm learning that now i'm doing a lot i'm doing a calorie thing i now know i heard where you count calories and it's amazing throughout the day the little calories that, that i would that take you don't in. realize it's cracker yep. graham cracker this you know and you just pick and pick or a chip you don't yep, realize you don't realize it you no know, it's 10 calories 20 calories 15 30, it adds up to the, at the end of the day to three or four hundred extra calories you multiply that times a year's time and then you're, you'll see where the weight comes on yep if you want to do things healthy like protein and veg together, it's, it's a great idea. You know, they tell you to be careful with your carbs, but you can find these high protein, yes, um, high fiber yes, tortillas, which tortillas. I love. Yes, or yeah. you can get the low carb ones. I always do the low yeah. carb ones. Here's your protein, your shrimp in the bottom. This could be any protein you want, whether it's pork or you know, whatever you want to do, chicken. Your seasonings already added. Then you do your veg, and then we're just warming our tortillas, so we put them on the top there. But you have enough water capacity in this water Reserve, uh, reservoir to get you multiple uses before you have to refill it. And by the way, it's removable, which is really cool. If you don't own a steamer, please add one to your repertoire. Honest to goodness, it is the healthiest way, but it also gives you flavor. If you want, you could do lemon infused water, garlic infused water. You could put a little saffron, whatever spice or seasoning cilantro is your favorite. Put it inside the water or put it under
underneath the, um, the food there and it all lifts up and it will actually flavor your food. So if, if you have in your head that steaming doesn't give you too much flavor, you're doing it wrong. You can infuse yeah. all the same flavors into your meal as you would if you were putting it directly on heat, but you're maintaining the nutritional content. So as Guy said, we're doing all our protein, our veg and that, but you could also do the fun things like the sure. hot dogs for the kids, yeah. or you could do chicken wings, or you could even do anything from frozen that you don't want to add into a vat of oil. I love it too, Kelly. It's so much better at reheating food than a microwave oven. Oh, so much better. <clears throat> because it doesn't, a microwave draws moisture out of food. Yep. It takes advantage of the moisture that's in there and that's, it's you're the moisture that's actually being charged to heat the food. So you're gonna lose that. You're adding moisture when you steam food. You're adding that, that steam from the bottom. It doesn't dry out your food. In fact, it replenishes it. So if you have things like I've done in my steamer, uh, leftover um, fried rice, yes. which is terrible. You've got rice right if here. You know, if you if you try to like leftover fried rice turns into little uh, tough little grains, it's awful. Yep. But if you put it in a steamer, it tastes like it was just made again. It does. Now here's something that's a really fun tip: orange or lime or lemon. Put it right underneath your protein, and as the as the steam as the oh, heat comes idea. up, it's going to infuse it into. The, in this nice. case, our steamed chicken breast. We did our broccoli and our peppers on top, and then Guy was just talking about fried rice and reheating his rice. You can put any vessel inside here so yeah, you can is. see we just have our casserole dish you can pop that talk about capacity i've never met a steamer you could put a casserole dish inside now this is awesome they're usually little tiny things but look at this meal guy and it was all done at the same time now most steamers you would have had to do three mm. rounds of steaming if you were going to steam your entire meal now we've steamed our rice we've put that at the bottom it needed the longest we even we did put our some protein. of that saffron in there didn't we, Let's we not, i think we got beautiful? saffron in that rice yeah <laughs> that's the way to do it though you guys it doesn't take a lot of effort and all you need is these look up little steaming tips online yeah. and you'll get all the tips for making it really beautiful and flavorful and before you know it like guy said you're going to start noticing you're consuming less calories you're right. consuming less fat you're consuming less oil but you're still getting the flavor it, listen you know even if you, what i what i tell people to do because i know committing to steaming full time is tough what i tell them is i say you know what do two meals a week in your steamer sure just try it all right or just do your lunch in your steamer mm -hmm. or, or something like One that. Just, meal. just try one mm -hmm. meal. You'll be amazed at the number of calories you can reduce when you don't have to add the extra fat. You can eat things like this. Like if you want to do, Isn't that cool? you know, uh, Mexican dishes, if you want to do Asian dishes, if you want to do Italian dishes, you can still use your steamer. In fact, this is how these are made. That's I the mean, only way you can do tamales. Tamale has, has to be steamed. Them. There is no other way on oh earth gosh. that I'm aware of where Look you can that. do these beautiful tamales, you guys. So, I mean, when you can see we did our veg at the very top and then we'd, I'm gonna get them all out here, but you can see we did our tamales in the bottom because we were able to remove that shelf. Most yeah. steamers, you would have only been able to do one layer of tamales because you only have a limited amount of space. But because we were able to remove those shelves, we were able to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, over a, a dozen tamales. A, a ton, ton of them. them. Look at that. Hey guys, let me remind you, This uh, the last time this was on air was last March. Okay, so we're talking over a year, about 13 months. We just got them back in inventory. It took forever. Uh, these have very, been very popular. Um, Bill Green had them in one show. They sold out back in March. They're we gone. just got it back. This is the first airing. We were able to get 2,000 of them um, and they're going very, very quickly again. So if you Goodness. do, if, you, if you're thinking, you know what? For 49 bucks, I mean, for, for the price of an out to dinner, I can make so many wonderful things in this. I can steam in it. Oh, I can. For a price I mean, of an out to dinner, where are you going that you're only spending $50 on an out to dinner? Per person. Oh, right, exactly. Per okay, person. there you go. Very yeah, good. Which is Valentine. <laughs> That's actually getting away cheap, too, yes, nowadays. But incredibly. listen, you can get this thing home and you can utilize it and take advantage of it. And not only that, it's guilt free cooking. You don't it feel is. guilty when you're using it. You feel like, look what I'm doing for myself. Yeah. Look what I'm doing for my family. And it's amazing how many dishes need to be steamed anyway. Yeah, true. <clears throat> the best fish, if you're making salmon, there's really no better way to make salmon than, steaming it. than to steam it because salmon has so much inherent flavor. And I know there are certain, like like scallops, not that great steam. I'll be honest with you, they're really not because scallops are kind of a, a dish that sure. kind of need to be seared, you know, and that's, and that's just being totally truthful with you. But salmon, a flakier fish, mm. fish that's got a lot of great because flavor. Because it's so delicate. Tuna, yes, tuna, tuna is great Beautiful. in there too. If you're not going to eat it raw, then just slightly steam it. So it just heats it up. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, you did. Um, so your edamame. Edamame. Okay, you guys. That that's always man, you steamed just made when Danny's you order at the right restaurant. There, man. Oh, does he love the pot stickers? He lives for those. You can dang do things. the pot stickers. It's one of the best ways to do it, you guys. You can do it by the dozens. Okay, so if you're somebody that you want to be able to cook with that capacity, but you want to do it healthy.
healthy and you don't want to dunk everything in hot oil or you don't want to expose everything to that high, high heat or you just want an easier way to cook, you guys, it's the easiest way to cook because all you do is add your seasoning, your flavor, and you add water and you walk away. We have a timer down front and the book tells you exactly how much your proteins, your veggies, and all that needs. By the way, if you're doing potatoes or something, put them in the bottom and then the less delicate, the more you get to the top there. But look at we you know our pot stickers, our edamame. You can do a beautiful Asian fusion. And then what we did down here, I love, is dessert. Oh my gosh. How All right, else did you would you do the little, flan? Look at little ramekins. How else would you do flan? Of flan. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. See, you, I bet you do cheesecake too, you right? You can do cheesecake inside oh here. You can gosh, steam Kelly. cake, you guys. Like little brownies and stuff like that are really good steamed. But you. that's the best way to do, well, it's the only way to do your flan. And if you don't own a steamer, you're not doing flan. There's nothing like home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It's Kelly. Valentine's Day, I, isn't it? Am I going okay, in? Kelly, yeah, no. that is so good. Isn't that amazing? It's warm. I've never had it warm. It's beautiful. That's really, you know what it is? That's kind of a romantic dish. It was a little romantic just it's now. It's really nice. I hope my husband's not watching. That's all right. He's he not knows actually. Me. He loves me. I'm his buddy. <laughs> all right. Listen, guys, uh, grab it while you can. As we said, this has not been around for over a year, and we got a lot of people picking it up right here at the end. Hey, Kyle, do we have any saffron 